Weather and climate traditional knowledge in the Pacific remains a significant source of information for decision making in today's changing climate. Through long-term observations of their local environment, Pacific Islanders have developed techniques that have allowed them to make their own weather and climate predictions. Traditional knowledge is important to us as Pacific Islanders because it's, it's about who we are, our cultures, our customs, our language are all associated with the knowledge that we have. When we apply the traditional knowledge to, to natural resources, that's how we have medicines how we um, build our resilience and how we know when to crop, uh, when to plant different crops that are, that are more resilient to the different um, seasons and also when to fish and where to fish. This knowledge has been passed orally from generation to generation and they are often in the forms of songs, stories, rituals or practices. Some of the traditional knowledge or stories we hear are often related to response technique for food preservation or where to collect water from in times of droughts. Ntapule le le poto tu fasolo ya poli to mai tu fasolo ya ose 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 tu masanga nu voile voleva na masani yeta tu tu a ile mai tawina ya o le talal tau a. Uh, weather uh, determines a lot of the activities that we do. So traditionally, uh, a lot of our ancestors have come up with ways of trying to predict the weather uh, using the behavior of plants and, and animals. And a lot of a lot of it has been has been correct, and it's still they're still being used uh, uh, today as indicators, uh, indicator type of uh, weather or certain a severe event uh, uh, that communities will then prepare for. The traditional knowledge on weather and climate projects was developed in response to increasing concerns that traditional knowledge of weather and climate in the Pacific was rapidly disappearing, and with it the potential to strengthen community resilience to extreme climate events. In northern part of Vanuatu, the population use mainly traditional knowledge. They, uh, they rely more on traditional knowledge than uh, scientific knowledge. Traditional and science, they look to give a better forecast. Traditional knowledge helps simplify and to get the message across clearly to the to the public. The Marshallese people are were known to be very good skill uh, in navigation and in meteorology, but it is, it is unfortunately a tiny art. Traditional knowledge contains information that is useful and can be used for forecasting weather and climate events, or can be used by communities during disaster preparedness. When the yam grows, it is expected to uh, climb up the trees or up a pole that is, uh, shows that all is well, there is no expected weather event. The yam creeps around the ground. It's a very reliable indicator that major weather event is expected during the cyclone season or during the very high rainy season. Traditional knowledge on weather and climate plays an important role in making the community resilient to climate extremes and geologic hazards such as droughts, flooding, severe weather events and tsunamis. Elderly, uh, they use traditional knowledge. Uh, by watching the uh, currents around the island, the unusual movement according to their wisdom, uh, it, it tells them about uh, a tropical cyclone coming and also seeing the, uh, the birds, seagull birds, flying at the coastline of the island, facing the ocean, uh, it tells them that strong wind is coming. And because of this traditional knowledge, they prepare themselves and then they evacuate. They went into caves and hid themselves. And then when this uh, Cut 5 tropical cyclone Zoe hit, there were no casualties. And that is a tremendous out outcome of using the uh, traditional knowledge. Computers. 
Etam faye sa ili lo na faman yang ay na iya fisota ay mentalan. With the collection of all these this information and teaching them to the future generation, it it gives them some sense of who they are, where they come from, and and things like that. For a lot of the knowledge that we use in the Pacific, especially for weather and and climate, probably needs. Uh, further studies to be to be able to determine and come up with a relationship on why they behave that way, but for a lot of the a lot of the communities they have been accurate and that's why they are being used. The different flowering behavior of different plants, the behavior of certain animals, insects. They have been able to link it to a certain type of weather or severe weather event. We are not the experts in traditional knowledge. The, our elders are the experts, and we are here to learn from them. Uh, because we don't want a library to burn when an elder dies. Uh, we want to be able to, to, you know, take information, receive information from our elders to build the resilience of the Pacific that we have now and the Pacific that our children will inherit. This project is funded by the Australian Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade through the Climate and Ocean Support Program in the Pacific, implemented by the Secretariat of the Pacific Regional Environment Program, SPRIP, and the Australian Bureau of Meteorology in collaboration with the National Meteorology Services and national partners.